This is One on One. I'd like to introduce you to one of the great teachers we have on this series as part of our partnership with the NJEA. It's the Classroom Close-Up Series where you feature great teachers. Jack Friedman, AP Physics teacher, down in Voorhees at Eastern Regional High School. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me here. We're about to see a video as part okay. of the uh, Classroom Close-Up Series that uh, runs on our, our sister station, our partners at NJTV. Um, this is part of a, a story that, that basically emanates. You guys got a grant from MIT, right? the great MIT. There's a problem with clean water in Africa right? that you and your students uh, were trying to deal with. You got this grant to go pursue this story, and you created this invention called the... Mahi drum. Mahi drum. That's what we're going to see. That's we're right. going to come back and talk about it, the experience that you had and the students of... Students, excuse, excuse me, the experience of your students as well, creating the Mahi Drum. Great story from Classroom Close-Up. Let's take a look. Eastern Regional High School is home to Invent Team, students who won a grant last year from the Lemelson Foundation at MIT. The grant funded the students' invention of a water filtration system for third world countries. Our invention is called the Mahi Drum, which is actually derived from the Swahili word for water. And it's a contained water purification system that can be implemented in third world countries where uh, finances would be a major issue. Even in poor African villages, some people have bicycles. So the Mahi Drum is powered by pedaling a bike in a stand. The Eastern Invent Team has a sister school in Gulu, Uganda, where, as in other African countries, women and children walk many miles a day just to get clean water. We started with a simple design right here. The team spent months working on the Mahi drum. There was a lot of trial and error and learning. We couldn't use this glue. See how it has that yellow residue there? That dissolves in water and makes it toxic. We decided to kind of move forward and look at different uh, ways to run the water past the bulb. We moved through several different uh, prototypes. What we ended up finding is that the most efficient thing was Teflon tubing. The first thing we did was we tested E. coli bacteria with the bulbs that we had to make sure that we were getting a good kill rate. And what we did is we did three different dilutions, three diff like the clearness of the water was different. And we made sure to plate each thing twice. And as you can see through here, there is a difference in the growth of bacteria and fungus after you run it through the system. As Kenny pedals, his power comes in from here, right through this cable. Ultimately, the inventors perfected the 55-gallon purification drum. UV lights are powered by the pedaling bike, and the drum can hold enough water for an entire village. Eureka Fest is an annual event sponsored by MIT. The Lemelson Foundation at MIT gives grants to high school and college students and cash awards to established adult inventors. My husband Jerry believed that the path to our country's dynamic and prosperous path was due to inventive minds. Mm, powerful stuff. What's your reaction when you see that? I'm really proud of that. These, these were fantastic kids and, they, and I, I almost forget how much work they put into it. How many just hours they did. I mean, you know, these kids had full lives. They had sports. They had girlfriends. They had just all kinds of interests. How did you pick them? I didn't pick them. See, this was started maybe about three years ago with the gift and talent program at our school. We have his teacher, Donna Donato, and what she did was she recognized these kids as freshmen, as unique. We have lots of really brilliant, talented kids in our school, but this, she saw that there was a large cluster of them in this mm. particular grade and how well they worked together. They were such good friends and they had so many different unique talents, some like biology, some like engineering, some were in electronics, and some were into writing, and they were grant writers, and they were just an unusual eclectic group of kids. And um, she kind of tracked them for a few years, and then she saw this program about um, developing something that you could maybe, I don't know, something that would help a third world country. Make a difference. Make a difference. And this Mahi drum, is in, where is it right now? What stage is it, in, is it in and what impact is it having? Well, that one that you saw right there was just a prototype. In fact, right. the final version that you saw on stage in MIT was really a, an exceptional piece of equipment. It's really, it works. You know, it works, it's efficient. Uh, you know, and we also based it on the fact that in Africa, a lot of the older women, they're the ones who are getting the water. They're the ones who are collecting the water. So this thing is made for anybody. If you can stand and get on that bike, you can effortlessly. You don't have to be a great athlete. To not do at this. all. That was the point. Uh, 
you had to make it so somebody who's going to use it can use it. And these people can now, you can, anybody, any bicycle, you can get, that's all custom made, by the way. That, 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 right. that mount, the motor, the, the, the electronics are custom. I had a kid who, through YouTube, would go on at night, look stuff up, go on the internet, mm -hmm. and he ended up designing this beautiful integrated circuit which controls the whole system. So it's fully automated. What has it done for you, this experience? I'll tell you what, it's, it's really reminded me how much you can do, how much you can learn. It's caused me to go back to school. I've what been taking mean? more online classes because you know, I, I see that these kids learned on their own. You know, these, some of these kids, they disappear for the weekend, they come back with all this amazing stuff they learned and did. And I, and I would be like, you know, I, I gotta keep up with these guys. So I've been taking my online classes in physics and, and electronics and it's really inspired me to keep working and keep becoming more educated and just, and just, just expanding myself. I've asked every teacher who's come in here, every educator, how much you love what you do. You know, it depends on what day of the week, you know. Is it Monday morning, <laughs> is it Friday afternoon? So, it, look, there's certain parts of my job I really love. When you love it, why do you love it so much? I love it because of things like this. You have, you get to work with people who are so talented and so dedicated. And, you know, they're, they're young, so they have great ideas. They're not so contained with old ideas. You know, sometimes I would think things would need to be done a certain way, and these kids would show me a different way to do things. So, they inspired me, and when I see the kids succeed, and I feel like I had something to do with it, it's, it's a great honor. And that's what I love about Great it. Great teachers never stop learning. And that's true. You have to really keep learning. And the reason why also is because you have to look at the perspective of the learner. You know, people assume, well, students should be able to do this. They should be able to do this. And then when I take a class online, like, I don't like the way the professor yeah. did that. I don't like that assignment. I'm not going to do that in my class. Well, I'll so, tell you so what, I reflect. Uh, you're a role model for, for all educators out there. And that's why we love doing Thanks, I appreciate this it. series in cooperation with our partners at the NJA. Jack Friedman, AP. Right. Physics teacher, Eastern Regional High School in Voorhees, New Jersey. Thank you for uh, honoring us and uh, being a part of a great profession. Thank you. All right. Great. Thank you, Steve. Stay with us one-on-one. -on -one. We'll be right back right after this. Okay. Thank you very much. One-on-one right. -on -one with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by Wells Fargo, Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey, the New Jersey Education Association, New Jersey Council of County Colleges, New Jersey Manufacturers Insurance Group, PSENG, and by Verizon Communications. Promotional support provided by The Star Ledger and NJ.com, and by the New Jersey Business and Industry Association. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine. One on One with Steve Adubato has been produced in partnership with St. Joseph's Healthcare System.